Um, I was a professional athlete for a long time, uh, 20 years. Okay. Well. Yeah, ever since I was a baby, I started training Chinese martial art. Uh, because of that background, um, I just feel like I'm hungry for knowledge mm. other than Chinese martial art. Mm. And my coach is also a Japanese coach, very strict. Um, so I've been training under his guiding for a long time and then compete every year, national, international. And then because international competition and uh, performance, it opens my eye. And I realize how much more I need to learn other than just my profession. And then I decided to, after my last competition in 1997, I decided to retire. And then in 1998, I came to America. Uh, China's sports system is very different than the rest of the world. You're pretty much sheltered. Mm. Uh, I don't have to buy my own tickets. Um, we manage by our team leader. We have our team doctor. <clears throat> you, all you need to do is to just train mm. and train harder mm. and listen and train harder. <laughs> so you see imagination to train even harder. And uh, you have your cook, you have everything else to f just to service for you. And then uh, I realized that what does the outside world look like? Can I survive? Um, I always want to know what else I can do. You know, the hungry for knowledge. Mm. Um, because when I first got into the martial art, it's really not because I love, love, love. It's because my father guided me into this world. And all I need to do is I really want, I'm not the person who gave up very easily. I always want to do the best what I can do. And that guided me to the next level professional, more professional level, and then get highest in the professional level. And I always aim on one goal. And I, after I finish my competition, I know my professional career maybe can go to the higher, but that's pretty much it. And what else I can do? What if I retire? What should I, how can I survive? So those are the questions starting, you know, happening in my head. And I start thinking, oh, maybe I should just learn and experience. If I go out, out of our country, if I fail, so what? At least I'm still young. If I go out in my 30 or 40, maybe I'm not brave enough to go out anymore. No, I'm actually here to learn first. I have no idea UC Berkeley wanted me to teach at that time. Right. I just retired, get my uh, 600 bucks of retirement, and then brought one suitcase and very pretty dress and a sandal. That's it, not even a jacket. <laughs> California, right? <laughs> like today, very sunny, very warm. And after I arrived at San Francisco International Airport and then get my suitcase in my hand and standing there, <gasps> that chill, you know, make me feel like I'm alone. What can I do next? I have no idea what I want to do. <laughs> Seriously, it's blank. But I know the doors open. No matter what, I want to do something and then the country is welcome to me. I know, I just have to make a decision myself. You know, to step up that door, that's the first step. Hmm. You had 600 bucks? Yes. That's it? That's it. And a suitcase and a pretty dress. Mm -hmm. That's all you need, really. <laughs>